Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Just a little happy because today is Friday Eve. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm not going to be too long, but I wanted to give you guys some um, understanding of hair care before I moved here. My hair had my god the 40s my lord my hair had took a let's call that a south side whooping unexpectedly you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you walking down the street from in chicago and you got beef with somebody and they decide to out of the blue knock you out and then you fall that's how my hair was before coming here i was very worried about my hair um simply because it was falling out and there was no reasons why I did, probably stress um, and I was really sad about my hair, so I kept it up a lot in sew-ins and braids. And the more I did that, the more it fell out. Which was really sad because I'm used to having a lot of hair. So take a look at my hair now. First of all, when I first got here, I had no hair in the back. As you can see, there's a lot of hair back there. I was literally bald from this point on in my hair all the way straight across. That's why I wore the weaves and I kept the weeds in, the weave in. So, fast forward, my sister-in-law when I first got here was like, your hair is going to grow. And I'm like, mentirosa. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and believe you. And I didn't believe her because my hair was so bad. In the front, it was very stringy. I really didn't have a good grade of hair. I just thought, I'm just going to shave it off and do a Mio Wakanda for life. And just embrace my African roots of having no hair. Until I got to Santo Domingo. I don't know what's in the water. Probably all the avocado we eat. A lot of beans you eat here every day. Um... Excuse me, my allergies are bad. Um, rice, a lot. And then it's sun all the time. So you're getting that vitamin D inconspicuously and not knowing that this is really just loving on your skin and your hair. So as you can see, for those who are out there that are moving here and may have troublesome with your hair, don't worry. You are coming to the right place. I am full living proof of how beautiful your hair can come back and grow. Okay, products. So, when I got here, I had this girl, because I had a sew in. And I found me a Dominican Morena to wash my hair. Then she took the braids down. She took the weave out like it was beautiful. I wish I could have filmed it. Um, she washed the weave, braided my hair back up, sewed the weave back in, and she did all of that for a thousand pesos, which is equatable to 20 American dollars. Did you hear what I said? All y'all out there who get sew ins in the States for $150 and up. Yes. She charged me $20, which was a mil peso. I gave her an extra 500 peso tip because, oh my God. And she did a magnificent job. Each week that I went back, well, not week, I'm sorry. Every six weeks I went back to get a wash, I kept looking at the back of my head going, oh my God, my hair is coming back. So do not worry about your hair here. I say this as an intro introduction because whatever is in the water here because i know i was asking my husband where does the water come from because when we lived in smyrna the water came from some really bad toxic areas and tennessee was really known to have really bad water to begin with um so he said a lot of the water come from the rivers that's why you can't really drink it and then he wasn't sure from other places but wherever it's coming from if I ever go back to the States, I'm going to have gallon sizes <laughs> because I am very, very happy with the quality of my hair nine months into the country. I'm getting my big fro back and um, intuitively speaking, it raised my vibrational um, um, frequencies 
in that part of my body because I was so, so, so sad about losing my hair at such a young age and I wasn't sure why when I've always had a lot of hair. So these are the products that I used when I first got here and these are awesome. So this is called, I deal, I can't, the lighting. Wow, I got some really good lighting in here. Okay, there we go. Um, look like Leche Cabre. Leche Carré, and I'm pretty sure that's milk, coconut milk. I think I got that right. And um, it's the shampoo, as you can see. Oh, I'm not trying to get too close to that light. There it is. And this is going to run you, here we go, 155 pesos, which is like, what you get, 49 pesos per one American dollar, so about $2. And this is the actual shampoo, and I got the shampoo and the conditioner. My sister-in-law recommended this. So this is like ginger, coconut, and ginger shampoo. So good for my hair. Oh, my God. It has really... I haven't had to do a lot of things to my hair, but wash it. I do go to the salon. I do get my ends trimmed every six weeks. And I have gotten the um, Dominican blow dry on several occasions. I'm not even going to lie because I was so happy to have my hair back. It was great. Um, so this is really good. I also, look guys, they have Cantu here. They do not have Shea Moisture, so don't come over looking for it. If it's something that you have to have for your hair, bring it with you. There are some um, hairdressers on Instagram that actually sell Shea Moisture out of their beauty salon, but you gotta double check with them. And you got to make sure that you look them up on Instagram. But Cantu is what I use as a leave-in conditioner. And as you can see, it's working well. I also take Nature's Own. They do sell these here. Vitamins are extremely expensive. This is a generic brand of Centrum. They do have Centrum here, but it's really expensive. It's going to run you about 20 bucks, like in the States. But $20 here is a lot of money. So these um, were about, I think, 500 pesos, $10. I take these in place of Centrum. And I definitely take Nature's Own. I brought these from the States. I had them shipped. Because Walgreens said, buy one, get one free. <laughs> Don't play. And I got another bottle. But when I do run out, these are going to run me about maybe close to 800 pesos, which is you know, roughly around that $15, $16 range, which is about what you pay in the States. Let me see. I see people on YouTube. There it is, doing this all the time. Cover up the lighting so you can see. Okay, so that's it. Those are for the hair care. Now, let's get to price. 350 pesos is what's going to get you that wash and that Dominican blow dry. Sometimes... I paid up to 700 because I got my hair done on Christmas Eve and they tend to jack up the prices on Christmas Eve because they shouldn't be working anyway. So I had no problem paying it, but just be aware. Um, also to nails, I don't have my nails done, but when I do get my nails done, I do the dipping powder, which is really good for your nails. I did the acrylic, tore my nails up. The gel doesn't last long here in your nails, and I'm not sure why. So the porcelain dipping powder was really good. If you look at one of my past videos, it's called um, Independence No Bueno. I have porcelain nails on in that video. Those were about 700 pesos, which is about uh, 18, 19, what, 15, 16 dollars. Uh, my toes, if you get your toes and your nails done with gel, that's going to run you about a thousand pesos. Without the gel, painted and toes done, not like in the States, okay? Don't come over here thinking that they're going to massage your toes and rub that little fuzzy scrub on your legs. No, you got that all wrong. <laughs> that, getting your toes done here, they, they're cleaning it. They're not giving you deep relaxation, so just know that. But they do come out real clean, though. I'm not even going to lie. My girl, Aurora, buen trabajo, mi amor. So, with the toes and your nails painted, it's going to be about 500 to 550 pesos. Okay? Clothing. I find it here to shop better for clothes than in the States. Because, you know, we do a lot of online shopping. 
I think here they have a little bit of a um, more of a selection because things are exported here all the time and you know you can find good knockoff brands here it's almost like you got TJ Maxx Marshalls Walmart Ross all in the streets you know, people are selling those clothes in the streets. And then when you get to Mega Centro in the mall, then you kind of, you know, you're spending money at Forever 21. There's a store called Anthony's that is similar to like Target. It doesn't have the little duck. I mean, the dog though, but it's a pretty cool store and I like their brands. Um, but you're going to spend some money in there. Okay, last but not least, and I'm talking to the mothers who are moving abroad with their children. School tuition. Okay. Because the school's here, they compete with one another, okay? Which means that they're not going to release their tuition costs unless they know that you are definitely wanting to be involved in the school. Because of the competition, they want to make sure that you seek that information directly or you send somebody who lives here to that school to get the information. I don't know why. Working in school, I kind of get it, but it's still... Yeah, I'm an American at the end of the day. So my kids, for three, they go to Brilliant Minds Bilingual School. That's running us about 26 to 27,000 pesos a month. That is almost equatable to about five to $600 a month. That's a lot. Uh, and not only that, you will end up paying an inscription fee to enroll them and then you have to pay that again every single year you enroll them it costed us a lot because it is three kids i think we paid about fifty thousand pesos up front for the inscription and then we had to turn around and pay for the month of the school so around seventy five thousand pesos is what we needed to get things going um and schools here are very expensive, especially if you're looking for bilingual. So I would suggest if you're coming here with your kids, put them in Spanish classes now. I did not do that with my kids. I think that if you put them in Spanish class and get them at least to the basic intermediate level of speaking, you can just enroll them in a really good public school here, honestly. I would not... Um, let me say this. I just would not pressure myself into trying to get them in the top bilingual school here unless you work for the government or you're making really good money because school prices are very high here. I don't want this video to be so long because typically when people watch a video, they kind of zone out and go to the next one. So if you have any questions, Leave your questions at the bottom of the page and I'll try to answer them. Just to do a recap, if you're worried about your hair not growing here, don't worry at all. Your hair is going to grow. Those women who you see online, the Dominican women, their hair, that majority of them, that's their hair. So don't be concerned about your hair not growing here. There are vitamins here. They, we, they do have some American-based products. As you can see, this is not an American-based product. This is a Dominican-owned product. So just know that. And they have a couple of other American-based products. Good. So you know the price of the hair. You know the price of nails. Because I know that's really important to American women, including me. And clothing, don't worry too much about clothing. You can absolutely find any brand here that you can get in the States. Maybe a little bit cheaper out here because it might be off, but it looks good. So why not? And the last but not least, school tuition for your kids. Just make sure that you leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Like to all, love to all, peace to all, be to all. Satnam. Bye, guys. <laughs>